Katrina is the CEO of the Cook Islands Yacht Squadron and the marketing manager of Maritime Cook Islands, which is the flag state administrator of the Cook Islands for ships and super yachts. Katrina specializes in yacht registration and she's lived in this island paradise for the last 15 years. I'm so jealous. Katrina, looking forward to seeing you. Thank you, Susie, for the introduction and a big kia orana to all of those that have joined us today. There are two things I love to talk about, and that is the Cook Islands and Yachty. The Cook Islands is made up of 15 islands scattered across 2 million square kilometers of the South Pacific Ocean. We have the Northern Group, which is made up of Penryn, Rakahanga, Manahiki, Pukapuka, Palmerston, Nassau, and Suara. The Southern Group, is Aitutaki, Manawai, Mitiaro, Mokia, Achu, Mangaia, Tokutea, and Araratonga. The Cook Islands is flanked by the Kingdom of Tonga to the west and Tahiti to the east. Araratonga is the capital and main island of the Cook Islands. Flights to Cook Islands. Uh, Pre COVID, we had international flights from Brisbane, Sydney, and Melbourne. Auckland, Tahiti, Los, and Los Angeles. Today, we only have one direct flight from Auckland with Air New Zealand. Some facts about the Cook Islands. Cook Islanders are New Zealand passport holders. The Cook Islands is a self-governing country and free association with New Zealand and is a part of the realm of New Zealand. As such, Cook Islanders are New Zealand citizens. We deal in New Zealand currency. Um, our first language is English, but native language is Cook Island Māori. The total population of the Cook Islands is 17,000 people. The Cook Islands economy is based primarily on tourism with over 150,000 visitors per year. The Cook Islands is COVID free and we have not had a case to date, which is something we're very proud of. Uh, New Zealand has opened the bubble to the Islanders to enter New Zealand without having to quarantine. Cook Islanders and New Zealanders um, have set a date for the 1st of May 2021 to open up the bubble uh, for New Zealanders to enter the Cook Islands and New Zealand without having to quarantine. Unfortunately, this does not extend to our seaports. The date set for the sea borders is May 2022. Rarotonga. This is my homeland. This is where I live. It's a beautiful place to be. Uh, Rarotonga is a volcanic island that stands 4,500 meters above the ocean floor. The island has a population of 10,649 people. Uh, it's 30, 32 kilometers around the island. Uh, and we're surrounded by uh, more than 100 meters of reef. We have beautiful sandy white beaches around the island and the lagoon is rich in marine life. Uh, this is Avachu Harbour. This is our main harbour in Rarotonga. The Cook Island relies heavily on the importation of goods into the islands from New Zealand. Uh, max, maximum length um, we can have in the harbour is 118 metres. There is a height restriction of 27 metres for yachts or for any type of boat coming into the harbour as there's a flight path. The man to the right of the screen is our harbour master, John Jesse, and he is your point of contact into the Cook Islands, along with health officials and customs. Um, we have yacht agents in the Cook Islands who I recommend can assist with these services or agents can be found on our ports website, www.ports.co.ck. Uh, there's draft plans to build a marina in Rarotonga. However, it's not certain when this will happen. Um, and they're going to be looking at, at building this in Avarua, which is in the main town centre. Uh, this is the draft plan. What to do in Rarotonga? There's so much to do on the water and on land. Um, on the water, we have lagoon cruises, blue water game fishing, diving, snorkeling, sea scooters, Reef walks, uh, speed boating, paddle boarding, sailing, kite surfing, paddle board yoga, and so much more. Um, on the land, you can do the cross island walk, come out at the Wigmore's waterfall, 
experience Cook Island's food, culture, at island nights, buggy rides, cycling tours, hiking, night markets, spa days, restaurants, and we have an amazing life, nightlife. Uh, the island loves to party. Uh, this is a photo of our beautiful Cook Island dancers at an island night. Island night consists of a buffet dinner with live entertainment from a local dance group and with fire dancing. This is a local dance team in the traditional costumes. You may come across them while walking on the beach. Uh, this is the needle. We have a cross island walk, which takes about three to four hours to cross the island. It is the most popular walking track for tourists. Uh, this picture above shows the needle, which is at the center of the island. Uh, when you finish your walk, you come out to a beautiful waterfall. Um, it's just amazing and a must do. Uh, game fishing, I'm very big on game fishing. My husband has a game fishing charter boat, so I know quite a lot about fishing. Um, so we mainly uh, fish for pelagic species here in Aratonga. We have wahoo running in May to September, uh, yellowfin tuna, mahi mahi marlin from December to April. Um, as you can see on the left, this is the giant trevally, which is caught was which was caught at night. Uh, we only do catch and release because a lot of them have cigatera poisoning. Um, but if you're not a keen fisherman, you can always go down to the wharf and watch um, see them with the local fishermen feeding them. Spear fishing, you can do spear fishing at the local fairs. Um, you'll need to go out on a tour on a charter boat. We target game fish like tuna, mahi mahi, and wahoo. Uh, it's best to <clears throat> bring your bring your own gear, as some charters don't provide everything. Turtle tours. This is an amazing experience, which I've just recently done with my family. Um, you can see up to 15 to 20 turtles. Uh, we have a local photographer, Charlotte Pihol, who kindly let me use her, her photo, and she does amazing tours and underwater photography. So you take your family, she can do photos, and you get to swim the turtles. It's a really great thing to do. But I do recommend you go with a good guy um, with the passages. Okay. Humpback whales. We have humpback whales that migrate to the South Pacific waters from their summer feeding grounds of Australia and New Zealand and the cool Antarctic Ocean. And they like to enjoy coming to the Cook Islands for a few months. They can be seen from July to October and we have a number of charter boats that will take you up to view them. Aitutaki. Many say this island is where heaven meets earth and it re really is, it's beautiful. Um, I'll be traveling there uh, tomorrow, <laughs> so I'm very excited. Um, Aitutaki is a 45 minute flight from Mararatonga. You are able to anchor outside the port if you're coming by yacht. The population is 1,800 and it's 220 kilometers from Mararatonga. Like Tahiti has Bora Bora, Cook Islands has Aitutaki. Uh, this is a photo of one foot island in Aitutaki. There are beautiful sandbanks that you can walk out to, um, giant clams, giant trevally and fish everywhere. The visibility of the water is just amazing and it's a must go to place whilst you're in Aitutaki. This is a boat of a local fish, of a local charter, which you can spend the day eating, drinking and swimming. The vessel will take you to one foot and to the snorkeling grounds as well as provide lunch for the day. This is a giant trevally at the snorkeling grounds as part of the tour. Um, I wouldn't recommend you feed the fish like these local guys are. Uh, I'd leave it to the experts or otherwise you might lose a hand. So uh, this is a bonefish uh, to the avid angler. Aitutaki presents the challenge of a lifetime as the tropical Aitutaki lagoon waters are where the world's largest bonefish make their home. It's wit, speed, and power is what makes the bonefish such a worthy opponent. Uh, you can hire these sailing boats through Sailing Cook Islands to explore the lagoon. You can take them out to a deserted island for the day, have lunch, and then come back to the main island. Uh, it's a really exciting way to see the islands. 
we really look forward to seeing you really soon. Um, can't wait. And if you're ever in the Cook Islands, please look me up and I'm, I will show you around and I will host you. So thank you very much for listening. <laughs>